We're tasting every flavor of Kool-Aid. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. A portion of today's episode is sponsored by ShipStation, but more on that later. Mm -hmm. Now, nothing makes me want to bust through a wall and surprise a group of unsuspecting strangers like a swig of Kool-Aid. So what will drinking every flavor of Kool-Aid make us want to do? Probably pee a lot. It's time for Gut Check Kool-Aid Edition. Gentlemen, today you'll embark on a journey to try all 23 classic powdered packet Kool-Aid flavors. Give them a score of 1 to 100 based on your gut reactions and decide which is the best. I have an assisting mm, poster here. That's pretty cool, man. And, um, of course, the best Kool-Aid jumps all the way through the wall. And then the worst Kool-Aid leaves a little red ring of a... Kool-Aid turd he spilled, back there. He spilled a, a, a Kool-Aid turd, yeah. He's not happy. And well, all, all these are kind of me. I like it. I want to say I uh, really appreciate you guys uh, going the extra mile. And uh, usually you just give me a piece of cardboard. And uh, you've really given me something I can use today. An abacus. Okay. So I'll be using this to it's well worn figure too. out my emotions. That's nice. Uh, all right. <laughs> Let's get to it. I feel like I'm in therapy. All right, we're kicking things off with our classic category, starting with Tropical Punch. Everybody knows that Punch. one. Well, that's Kool-Aid. It tastes like Kool-Aid. Um, I think this is the, the color that Kool-Aid Man, he's this flavor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because he's is red. The, this is the original. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do, were you doing that on purpose? Um, um, it's decent. It's a 73. I might give it a 64. Cherry. Cherry. I think I actually like it a little bit berry. Berry. <laughs> <laughs> better. It, it tastes better, but it makes me think about cough syrup a little bit. I like better, it a so little bit, like, berry. I'm talking to you, berry. Puts me right back at 63. Put your broom down and watch. 75. I thought it was a vacuum. No, yeah, he, he, has, he does different things. He's sweeping in Maine and, and mopping in more, I right. believe, yeah. because that would be the oh. order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black cherry. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. They're getting better to me. It's definitely more flavorful. Like, that one really hits harder. Yes, Seven, 76. I oh. like that. I like it. Yeah. Berry cherry. Oh. It's like cherry with a little bit of berry, which makes it a little bit better. Now, this one's a little confusing to me. Um, I think I think I'm gonna go for a nice 72. I don't like this one as much, 52. You know what? I'm gonna give it a 79. No backsies? No, nope, a little bit of backsies. You get a little bit of backsies. I realize how much I liked it. Mixed berry. Okay, oh. it's confused. Okay. Oh, it's blue. That's tart. That's sour. It's all mixed up. That's interesting. Might get a little old after a glass. Yeah, I think it's too candy like. 61. I'm going to give it a 59. Strawberry. Oh, okay. Strawberry. I would describe it as soft. Yes, it's very it's, soft. It's soft around the edges. It, it's a, just gentle on the tongue. Yeah, 51. Uh, 58. Strawberry kiwi. Oh, okay. Ooh. You did that, huh? So we're kind of we're in like a Jolly Rancher territory. Yeah, it's sour. I'm not loving it. Um, 47, because it's not horrible. I kind of like the sourness of it. Yep. 67. Sharkleberry Finn. Sh excuse me? Come on, Stevie. <laughs> you know the classic flavor of Sharkleberry Finn. Tastes like grapefruit. Uh-huh. And that's good. But that's what makes Rhett like it. But I don't like to think about a shark fin. Well, it's, don't. It's strawberry, orange, and banana. <laughs> Oh, the banana is nice. Can I have some more of that? 
No, I like it better I when it was grapefruit. Why is my stomach hurting already? I um, like that. I've never had banana flavored uh, Kool Aid. 81. We've gotten into the 80s, friends. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bringing you down with a 37. Oh, gosh. It's Watermelon. Not, not good. Oh, this, this is destined for failure. That's the spirit. That was awful. That was the worst one so far. I don't know why they make it. 21. 21. Grape. 21. <laughs> is that what, is that what you were doing? I'm looking. Whoa, I can barely see through that, Barry. Look at that. 29. Ah, oh, man, this is... Sorry, dude. Uh, it's not as good as that charcoal fan. <laughs> 80, 80, 80. Peach mango. Oh. <laughs> I thought this would be better. I, the expectations set with peach mango uh, are yeah. not really delivering. It, it, it's, 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 not, it's, out, it's not really Kool-Aid. Oh, okay. It's decent for what it is. 62. 30. Orange. Decent mm. for what it is, 30. That's See, a classic. This is classic Kool-Aid. This is, this is staying in their lane. This is not as nearly as good as grape. No, it, sadly it's not. Uh, well, th this one's colored orange, so it seems right to me. 20. 52. Lemon lime. Okay. Mm. Y'all can do that too. Oh, it's so bright. Ooh, that's bad. They're trying to do it like a, <laughs> they're trying to do a Gatorade thing. It's too hard. They're it's trying going, to make Gatorade. It's going way too hard. Um, you need to water that down. <laughs> you need to stretch it out. Are you okay? Um, that's a nine. Uh, it wasn't that bad. Uh, it's a straight 50 for me. Green apple. Green apple? Oh, that's brighter than the other one. 60. See, now it's... It's green apple for it's sure. It's getting out of its lane. Well, what kind of... What, what, what are these lanes it's you speak get, of? It's getting into the Jolly Rancher lane. Yeah, so but... I, I this mean, is you're not already what... drinking a sugary drink. No. Green apple has something to it, man. I will say that the 90 and the 100 is the color of green apple, and I do really, but green th apple is my favorite Jolly Rancher. But that's not what this. I know. The colors just, are not. I'm just, I'm just saying things. Well, yep, that's true. But what I'm really thinking is. Do you like it? I like it. Okay. Uh, but I'm not busting through the wall. And it. I think it would get old after a while. I'm gonna go for a 72. I'm going to 75. That concludes the classic category, Ooh. and this portion of today's episode is sponsored by ShipStation. Is it? ShipStation is the leading order management and shipping software on the internet. <laughs> the holidays aren't just the most wonderful time of the year, they're also the busiest. Last thing you want to have to worry about is shipping your orders. Not to mention the inevitable holiday returns. You've got more important things to spend your time on, which is why ShipStation is the perfect solution. Let's talk about just a few of the things that ShipStation simplifies for you. Managing orders, printing labels, comparing rates, optimizing every shipment, and automating delivery notifications. I could keep going. Plus, ShipStation's robust automations and reporting makes scaling easy. And as your business grows, you can save thousands on shipping costs. Mm -hmm. Not to mention discounts up to 84% off UPS and USPS rates. It's easy to get started, easy to use, and with the free trial and setup, there's no time like the present to get started. Let your customers shop risk-free this holiday with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash GMM today and sign up for a free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com slash GMM. And thanks again to ShipStation for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Hmm. Our next category is Aguas Frescas, starting with... Pina Pineapple. Did you, put a, did you put an S on both of those? Aguas Frescas. Wow. Yes. Ooh, now that is so soft. Now this isn't something I expected that from you, Kool-Aid. That is smooth. You, you've gone out of your lane and put S's on everything. This is oh. interesting. 69. <laughs> 
82. I really liked it. You really liked it? Yeah. I like the mouth feel of it. I hope that comes back in another flavor. How soft is it? Mungo. Mungo? It, that's mango. a bean, right? Mungo. It's mango, but oh. it's Spanish. It's mango. I thought it was mango for a very long time. Okay. All right. That tastes like mango. This is this is perfect. Can I have some more of that? That's a, I mean, that's not an approximation. This is a new leaf. I'm also going to need your scores uh, for this category in Spanish, please. Okay. Um... Um, Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, <laughs> ah. ocho, ocho, um, ocho, what? ocho, diez, ocho, cinco. Are you both saying eighty? I said eighty-five. <laughs> Did, didn't yeah. I? Ocho, cinco. Eighty-five and what? Eighty-five. <laughs> yeah. And what did I say? Ocho, diez. Unos, dos, tres. <laughs> eighty, ten. So ninety. No, eighty, eight, eight times ten. Eight. Eighty. Ocho dies. Are you saying eighty? What is dies? That's ten. D ten. Diez is ten. So what is your what? Are you Ochenta is eighty. Uh, are ochenta. you going? Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. you could have said ocho zero. <laughs> Mandarina. Wheat dies. Ma mandarina, tangerine. Mandarin, tangerine. Yeah, I'm doing a half Spanish, half English situation. That's now that's so much better than orange. Woo! That is an orange upgrade. All of these are better than normal Kool Aid. Sixty-eight. Seventy-two. I'm waiting to be wowed. Jamaica, which is Who? hibiscus flavored. Okay. That is dark. Jamaica? Yeah. Oh, wow. Whoa. That is a, that's thick. It's like, what is that? It tastes like Syrupy. It tastes like it's a syrup that's supposed to be put with something else, like um, it's an ingredient in something. Uh, 22. You think it was wine. What's this, communion all of a sudden? 48. And that concludes the Aguas Frescas category. All right. Finally, we have the Another lemonade ad? slash limeade <sighs> category, starting with lemonade. Oh, what's this? Huh. What's this new thing? That's a strong lemonade. I mean, if you're in the market for a lemonade, don't count Kool-Aid out. It just tastes like lemonade. Yeah, and that's what it was. <laughs> so that would be a 73 for me. I want more. I want more than lemonade from Kool-Aid. I do like it though, 64. <laughs> pink lemonade. Oh, okay, there, what's the difference between pink lemonade and lemonade? It's well, a little tartar. It's ta and, and it's, it's pink. And yeah, the color. Uh, it's a little bit better. That's what my dentist said. 68. Um, I don't think it's I don't think it's better. So whatever I just said, I'm gonna go lower, but I don't remember that. So I'm just you gonna said go 73. 72. Strawberry lemonade. Oh, I wonder how soft this will be. It's a soft lemonade. It's not for me. That's a fifty. I think that's a crowd pleaser. That's not what we're here for though. Sixty-eight. Blue raspberry lemonade. I'm listening. Very candy-like. Yeah, that's got a Sour Patch Kids thing going. I think that would get old pretty fast. Yeah, I think that's it's it's making my stomach 50, hurt. Fifty-one. Uh, Forty-two. Cherry limeade. Interesting. Ugh. That is horrible. Ten. Ah, that's the worst. Twelve. <laughs> that concludes the lemonade limeade category. You have now tasted every Kool Aid flavor available, and your scores will now be tabulated. I'll never do that again. Have a cracker. Oh, good. Okay, guys, your overall top three flavors in no particular order were pina pineapple, really, yep. mango. Hey. And uh -huh. green apple. Green apple. No so, reds for these boys. I'm actually surprised by the pina pineapple because 
Uh, we don't remember it. I don't really. think I would have. Is this the one that I said had some coconut oh, in it? Oh, this is the first. This is the first one. Yeah, two of your top three are Aguas Frescas flavors. Oh, I hate this now. What's wrong with you, man? What's it's got that you? coconutty thing to it. What? <laughs> you stated something about it in order to hate it, is what it seems like to, to all of us watching. But I tasted it. Okay. All right, I love it. What, I mean, what do you want me to say? You know what, I love this. I think it shows how easily you can make yourself hate or love something by just saying thing, something about it. No, I tasted it again. That's mm. why we're tasting it again. Um, Did you love it? I still like it a lot. But then you taste the mango. Very accurate. It's funny tasting the mango. What, you wanna go back to this? Next, directly next to this. Oh. We picked some really strong flavors. Is this, what is this, green apple? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a lot. That's good though. I ate a bunch of saltines right in between this and I and it got completely salty mouth and so this is all seeming so sweet to me right now. <laughs> I do like them. I'm just saying they're soup all three very sweet right now and I'm trying I'm trying I'm having to all recalibrate. Right. I'm I'm ready to go. I think this is my this is my number. This is the worst one. Throw it up there. Third best one. And that one's going to go there so that this one can slide under here and be the coolest Kool Aid dude you've ever seen. It's Mongo! Oh, he's coming up. And it, he's, oh, he's, oh, his glasses no, you've fell done off. It. His glasses fell off. You know, I think I made an observation. Oh, God, he, help! You, rescue this. You dropped the whole thing, though, and then let's just do this. How about that? Oh. They work so hard on making this thing and it's awesome. There we go. Um, what? They work so hard on this stuff. Well look, he busted out. Um, 3D, I'm making an observation about us. We're not just peanut butter boys, I think we might be Mongo boys because You're your own worst enemy, man. I am, man. You are, I'm telling you. I am. All I'm saying is I think we like mango things and we've done and we demonstrated that multiple times. Mango is the best Kool-Aid. How's Face that? Face the subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Pippa and it's my birthday. We're camping in Green Lake, British Columbia and we're doing a Kool-Aid gut check and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. That's commitment. Going yeah, on a camping is. trip and doing a gut check? Yeah. Click the top link to watch us discover what other foods you should soak in Kool-Aid besides pickles and get nothing more. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. Can you just tell the people really quickly where you came from before this? I came directly from a colonoscopy procedure. 